In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the uh, the Mosca MQTT uh, server or broker on uh, Node-RED. Now, Mosca is a, a Node.js uh, MQTT broker or server, if you want to call it that. It's available as a node for Node-RED, and it's very, very useful for simple testing and maybe in home automation projects. It's not really um, for production. Uh, you can't really compare it to Mosquito, which is the, the broker I use on my internal network uh, but it's actually very simple and it's ideal if you just want to um, experiment with MQTT and set up a few simple tests and demos and all the videos that I've done so far involving MQTT and Node-RED I've used the Mosquito broker but I could have easily have used the the Mosca broker instead okay so let's go on to the the install and here is my flow, the example flow. Now I've actually cheated, my, I've already installed the, the Mosca broker, but I'm just going to show you how I, I did it. It's actually very simple. So to install it, you go over here to the right, you click on Manage Palette, and you click on Install, and you do a search for the, the node, and I, Mosca. And this is what the actual node's called. It's called the Node Red Contrib. MQTT broker node and then you click on the install here now it, I can't install it because it's already installed so you click on there and it gets installed it's very 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 simple so once you've got it installed it appears down here on the left hand side in the available nodes and here it is here it's actually a purple node just like the MQTT um, publish and subscribe clients and to use it I just drag it into the the flow like that now, once you've got it there, you need to configure it. So to configure it, you just open it up there. And the important bits is the port. Now, I've set this one to 1884 because I'm actually running Mosquito on 1883. Uh, you can set it to whatever port number you want. And I've set the WebSockets port to 1880. The rest you can leave blank. Uh, the username and password, this isn't for the clients. Uh, so you don't need a client username and password to access this broker I haven't actually found out what that is for so you can safely leave that as blank and that's all there is that's all the configuration we need to do and done now to test it I've set up a MQTT publish node and an MQTT subscribe node so I'm going to publish on the topic and that's sorry the there's the topic there I'm sending injecting the message it senses mosquito test and I'm going to subscribe on the same topic here and I'm going to send the message into the debug node so I can see it now the configuration of these MQTT nodes I need to set it to use 1884 which is the port that the Mosca broker is running on and to use localhost because the the Mosca broker is running on the same host machine as these these test clients are running on and then all I need to do now is deploy it go to the debug node wait for them to connect and now they're connected and now I can send a message and there it is there so the Mosca broker is working so now you've got a very simple um, MQTT broker that you can use for testing for um, automation and you just put it into a flow on its own and leave it enabled and every time you start Node Red then your Mosca broker will start as well. So that brings us to the end of this very quick video how to install and you can set up the Mosca broker on Node Red. If you've got any comments then leave them below. If you like the video then use the like button below and if you want to get notified of new videos then you can always subscribe to the channel if you do use social media and you think it'd be useful to some of your followers on social media then you can always share it on social media until next time goodbye